Welcome, Sagittarius, to your oracle reading. And for you this week, I pulled number 28, Armadillo, as your medicine card. 28 breaks down to 1, which is the number for a new beginning, a fresh start. So something new is coming into your life this week. Armadillo medicine is boundaries. So this may be the first time that you really stand up for yourself. But this is a week to have red lines, to say, I am not going to tolerate this. I will only accept this. And when you are maintaining your boundaries, it doesn't mean that you fight the other person. You just stand up for yourself. You just assert your own will and say, this is where my limit is. Do not cross it. So expect to be challenged this week. Expect your boundaries to be challenged. This is going to be a difficult week when it comes to people pushing your boundaries, trying to see if they can get you to move your red line. But this is a week to push back. I know that the holiday season brings this type of energy as it is. There's a lot of opinions. There's a lot of people who are trying to take advantage of others. It's that old familial relationships coming back, childhood relationships reasserting themselves when you see people from your past. But this is a week to really stand up for yourself and be the adult in the room to say, hey, that's not okay. Or I agree with that if you do. Now, for your mineral companion, I pulled this beautiful piece of pink opal. And this is a heart chakra stone of TLC. So this is a week to do things for yourself, little things that are going to help you. Now, this may be as simple as buying roses at the store to beautify your home. It could be as simple as just really enjoying your Thanksgiving dinner this week. Whatever it is, you are being asked to take care of yourself. Fill your own cup. Don't depend on other people this week. This is a week of you taking care of you. Now, I know that's hard during the holidays, but I'm sure that you can do this. Now, for your advice card, I pull number 63, Wind. 63 breaks down to 9, which is the number of completion. And wind in reverse represents change. We've all heard the winds of change. It's a saying that many of us are familiar with. And that's what you're experiencing this week. There is something here that is going to be different, something new that has come in, perhaps a new style for you to interact with others. And you're being asked to trust this process, to trust this change, to go with it. Don't fight it. So if you have felt like you have changed this year, you've transformed as a person and therefore your relationships are meant to transform, that is perfectly natural and probably the state of things this week. Now, for your clarifying card, I pulled number 35, the fawn. 35 breaks down to 8, which is a number for rhythm and routine and habits. Again, we have here the energy of something that you're very familiar with, something that you do on an everyday basis or maybe every year. But with this energy of something new and change happening, that's what's transforming. Your habits, perhaps, around the holiday are transforming. And therefore, because that's transformed, the way you're going to interact with everybody else is going to be transformed as well. And the fawn represents natural magic, a natural unfolding of things. So this says there's nothing really that you can do about this process. There's nothing that you can really help it along with, but flow with it naturally because this is a natural unfoldment. This is something necessary that is happening that is going to happen regardless of what you are trying to control. So you're being asked to really trust in spirit this week. Trust your intuition. Trust in the idea that you have changed and therefore the people around you will change appropriately. They may not at first like the change that they see in you. They may try to fight it. They may try to overcome it. They may try to change you back to what they expect. But this is a week to stand fast, to maintain your boundaries and say, this is who I am this year. Yes, I have transformed. Yes, I have changed. Yes, I am putting myself first this year. Yes, that's all okay. So thank you for joining me for this video. If you enjoyed this, I hope you check out your moon and rising sign videos as well. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Bye for now.